How do you feel great on vacation? Like really good? Easy. You go to Aruba. You'll spend your time relaxing on cool white sand beaches and floating in healing blue water. You'll immerse yourself in natural wonder and find your center on an island where things move at your speed. You won't just feel great. You'll feel relaxed, renewed, and ready for life. That's the Aruba effect. Plan your trip at aruba.com. This is Optimal Health Daily, episode 2435. Feel the Afterburn, How to Maximize the Epoch Effect by David Cameron Smith with lesmills.com. And I'm Dr. Neil Malik. Welcome back to Optimal Health Daily, where I read to you from some of the most popular health and fitness blogs out there with permission from the websites, and always with a bit of my commentary at the end. So let's keep this intro nice and short and get right to today's post as we optimize your life. Feel the Afterburn, How to Maximize the Epoch Effect by David Cameron Smith with lesmills.com. Feeling hot and sweaty hours after a hard session in the gym? Feeling energized and alert? You can thank Excess Post-Exercise Oxygen Consumption, or EPOC, for boosting your metabolic rate and burning more calories for hours afterwards. Ever wondered exactly why this works? There are many ways to maximize your burn in a given time period. Elite athletes can finely tune their minds and bodies to go to the point of almost complete exhaustion in the last few minutes of a race or event. But this takes years of training and practice. For the rest of us, There are exercise strategies such as high-intensity interval training, or HIT. By repeating short bursts of intense exercise with a short recovery, you can push yourself to your own personal limits. Like all exercise, high-intensity interval training uses muscles, lots of muscles. Muscles contracting provide the power for each and every movement of the body, but each contraction needs energy, lots of energy. The more resistance, think weights, the higher the number of reps, think number of muscle contractions, and the time spent exercising, all vary the total amount of energy needed to sustain physical movement. So, first of all, it helps to know what your muscles are doing when you hit the gym. Stage one. To get muscles started, there is a short-term explosive energy source known as creatine phosphate. This is found in your muscles in very limited supplies, So this source only lasts for a few short seconds. Stage two. After that, you need a more sustained energy source. Most of this comes from the breakdown of glycogen, the major store of carbohydrate energy in the muscles. Glycogen starts by liberating some energy without oxygen, producing lactic acid. Again, this can only fuel your muscles for a few minutes. And stage three. Longer-term energy needs oxygen a small drop in blood oxygen levels triggers a complex set of responses that has you breathing hard and your heart pumping faster. The new oxygen in your blood passes into the muscles within the first few minutes of exercise and allows you to start generating energy by a process known as aerobic metabolism. The major fuel is still glycogen, but now you're able to use the oxygen to generate water and carbon dioxide. This allows you to keep exercising without making more lactic acid. As your heart rate increases, fat is slowly released from the body's fat stores. Within 10 to 15 minutes, the release of fat reaches its peak. This fat circulates in the blood and is taken up by the muscles. Inside the muscles, both glycogen and fat are used as the fuel mix to sustain the energy needed to keep the muscles contracting. Explosive and high-intensity exercise causes a rapid rise in lactic acid. At the same time, muscles begin to burn and fatigue. Lactic acid is produced from glycogen when there's not enough oxygen available. Lactic acid is a small molecule released from the muscles and eventually converted back into glucose, then glycogen by the liver. Surprisingly, and contrary to a long-held belief, it seems lactic acid is not the cause of the muscular burning sensation of intense exercise. Studies have even shown lactic acid may be beneficial in helping muscles continue to contract. So that means the chemical cause of the burning sensation remains unknown, but sports scientists continue to search for it. Metabolism boost in recovery. Once you stop exercising, the process of recovery starts immediately. 
you might notice you often sweat and keep sweating, sometimes for hours after you finish exercising. Sweating is necessary to keep you cool as your muscles, liver, heart, and immune system begin the complex and energy-demanding process of recovering. This persistent increase in metabolism is where excess post-exercise oxygen consumption, or EPOC, comes into play. The extra energy is used in many recovery processes. One major requirement is to remove most of the lactic acid. As a chemical byproduct, lactic acid needs to be cleared and converted into a useful energy source. The synthesis pathway to turn lactic acid back to glucose, then glycogen, costs energy and is an important function of the liver. At the same time, muscles need to repair and adapt. This requires protein breakdown and protein synthesis. Again, this requires energy. Nerves need to make fresh neurotransmitters and hormones used during exercise need to be freshly synthesized. It's an energetically expensive process. There is a direct relationship between the amount of energy used during an exercise session and the amount of excess post-exercise oxygen consumption. Going hard in a high-intensity interval training workout will require more excess post-exercise oxygen consumption than taking it easy. By working your whole body, legs, arms, and core, for example, you can cycle through many of the major muscle groups, leaving each one in need of recovery and excess post-exercise oxygen consumption. And this excess post-exercise oxygen consumption can generally be measured for up to three hours. The actual amount of calories used to recover as a percentage of the total energy used during an exercise session has been the subject of intense study. Somewhere between 6 and 15% seem to be the mainstream consensus, although it may be higher for elite athletes performing extreme physical activity. It's unlikely excess post-exercise oxygen consumption is the only beneficial after effect of exercise, and the benefits of high-intensity interval training metabolically are still poorly understood. The question of why high-intensity interval training seems to burn more fat than other forms of exercise definitely warrants more study. Also, excess post-exercise oxygen consumption varies between different people, and scientists cannot yet pinpoint the reasons for this variation, although it seems not to be influenced by fitness, fatness, or gender. Make your epoch epic. Like the workout itself, good recovery technique can improve performance and boost the benefits of training. Good recovery starts with hydration and nutrition. Ensuring you're adequately hydrated is vital to speed the removal of lactic acid and allow glycogen stores to be regenerated. High-quality carbohydrates and proteins should be featured on all recovery menus. This should all be followed up with sleep. A long, restful night does wonders to help muscles recover for another high-energy day. If you're suffering from muscle soreness post-workout, there are some simple tips to get you through it. And remember, excess post-exercise oxygen consumption is one part of the important process of recovery, so be realistic. It offers a nice bonus, but it does not mean your midriff will magically sprout abs. You just listened to the post titled, Feel the Afterburn, How to Maximize the Epoch Effect by David Cameron Smith with lesmills.com. And I'll be right back with my commentary. We're driven by the search for better. But when it comes to hiring, the best way to search for a candidate isn't to search, but match. If you need to hire, you need Indeed. Indeed is your matching and hiring platform with over 350 million global monthly visitors and a matching engine that helps you find quality candidates fast. And Indeed doesn't just help you hire faster. 93% of employers agree Indeed delivers the highest quality matches compared to other job sites. One of the things I love about Indeed is that it makes hiring all in one place so easy because Indeed's matching engine is constantly learning from your preferences. So the more you use Indeed, the better it gets. And listeners of this show will get a $75 sponsored job credit to get your jobs more visibility at indeed.com slash health. Just go to indeed.com slash health right now and support our show by saying you heard about Indeed on this podcast. Indeed.com slash health. Terms and conditions apply. Need to hire? You need Indeed. There are lots of ways to potentially boost your investments these days and even more options on where to stash them. 
make the smart move by transferring your brokerage account over to Robinhood. Whether you're transferring $1,000 or $2 million, don't miss out on Robinhood's offer for an unlimited 1% bonus on your assets. Unlimited, as in no cap. See why over 3 million people have rated Robinhood five stars on the App Store. Visit Robinhood.com optimal to claim your bonus. Terms apply to the bonus. See full bonus terms at Robinhood.com. Investments offered through Robinhood Financial LLC. Investing is risky. Dr. Neil here for my commentary. Today's author, David, mentioned the importance of hydration, especially after exercise and during recovery. I wanna add one more thing related to this concept. David mentioned that staying adequately hydrated helps remove lactic acid from the blood and body and allow glycogen stores to be replenished. This is all absolutely true. The other advantage to staying hydrated is it helps the kidneys stay healthy. I'll explain. Often after high-intensity exercise or a particularly grueling workout, our muscles are sore the next day, right? If we're especially sore, it's even more important to stay hydrated. This is because when we're experiencing sore muscles, the body creates byproducts other than lactic acid that the body has to get rid of. The kidneys are mainly responsible for getting rid of these byproducts. By staying hydrated, we help the body and of course the kidneys get rid of these byproducts. Now, we don't need to go overboard and overhydrate when we're sore. Just drink enough water so that your urine is a light yellow color. If your urine is clear, you're actually overhydrating. So you can cut back on your water if your urine is clear. If your urine is dark yellow, you need to consume a bit more water. And what about other forms of hydration? I'm only mentioning water. Yes, other forms of hydration count, but truly, after many studies have been published on this, water is the best. All right, that'll do it for today. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Thank you so much for being here and sharing the show with someone, and I'll see you back here tomorrow where your optimal life awaits.